All modern devices, from interplanetary spacecraft to smartphones, have one important attribute in common. They must interact with a human operator. Now, the market success of global consumer goods in the personal electronics, automotive, and household appliance sectors, for example, depend on user friendliness. And end user perceptions of the performance of a product are highly dependent on how easily they can interact with it. Now, developing a great HMI is an art, a science, and an engineering challenge, especially when, as happens commonly, HMI development becomes a pacing factor in overall product development. Here's a little of our conversation. HMI stands for Human Machine Interface, so it's 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 the it's as the name says the way how a human being is interacting with a machine or with uh, with uh, with a product, right? That could be a hardware interface, as you said, a toggle, a knob. Uh, a lever, something like that. But in more modern um, uh, products, we see that uh, mostly as a digital interface, as you know it from your smartphone, which could be a screen, could be more than that. I think it connects also to the aspect of the UX, the user experience, but it is, a, I can, maybe we can discuss this in the group, but I think it's a, it's a subset of that. Um, as user experience also includes the hardware design, the HMI is embedded into and the overall user journey and, and, and experience it has with the product. If, if you look at the recent history of HMI, um, automakers have tried to incorporate new technologies into like their products, but they were very resistant doing the same for processes. So in a way, what you for, for a while, what you've been getting is kind of the worst of two worlds, right? You get like the new technology with all the touch screens and anything that might or might not be distracting, but you you buy that car and then that's just it. There is no, no over the air updates until like a few years ago with most major OEMs. And um, the development processes were very rigid. So car makers basically applied the same logic uh, and the same processes to what they would do, do for hardware. So they would years in advance plan exactly what um, their system would look like, what each button would do, what each screen would look like, down to the individual pixel, create a specification, and then um, send that specification over to a supplier that will then build this. Now, the problem with that, of course, is user experience is something that is not, it's, it's not perfect like in engineering. It's not like the brake either works or not, or you reach this temperature or not, right? You have to, like, understand the cycle where you get feedback from users, you understand the market, you improve your product. And um, this is why it's important that automakers not only incorporate new technologies for, for graphics and um, like new hardware and everything and touch screens and all these things, but also change their processes to something that's more like what um, like consumer electronics companies do. Also throughout the journey, driving with it uh, and, and arriving at your destination, it should all feel holistically. And I think that user experience, right? What what Heading also mentioned is it's it's not just the HMI; it's the whole experience you have in a car. If you can design it end to end, fully holistically, that is the best user experience. And I think that's why that brand uh, yeah, plays a big role in that uh, design, uh, yeah, of the full car. In the navigation service, we are really talking about multiple uh, competing functionalities that that add up to that experience for the user, right? From from finding a route to your destination, for searching at the destination, for actually navigating and browsing for a destination. All of these have to play nicely together to form that cohesive experience. Um, it, and if any one of them fails, user will uh, perceive that as a, uh, as a not very great experience and potentially a bad, bad interface as well. So.